Hello and welcome back. This is video number six, and this is the vendor and buyer analysis. We briefly touched base on this in the previous video, but I really want to dive deeper. And the purpose of this particular video is to show you how to kind of get it into the minds of the vendor and into the minds of the buyer so that you can get more yeses. And then of course the buyer is going to think, wow, this is something that I really, really want that you are offering to me. And now that I see your offer on the thank you page, not only do I believe you, but I am looking to actually buy more from you. So that's kind of what we want people to get into the mindset of. So as I said, once you find a niche, it's really time to analyze the deepest deepest desires, the problems that they face, the reasons why they buy and all that. All right. So first things first, I want to ask you a few questions and then we are going to be using a free tool that you can use to dive deeper into your niche. So first question is what does the vendor want in terms of why and what they want to do, how they want to do it as far as making their buyers happy. So in other words, when a vendor sees something, they either think, well, this is something that my buyers definitely don't want, or this is something that my buyers really, really want. And I want to either go out, I want to make a deal with another vendor and make a special deal for my buyers. All right. So this is how, you can get more vendors to say yes, if you only understand their point of view. I see this time and time again, and even let's say, for example, joint venture marketing, people have this great product, they approach a vendor and they hope that the vendor will say yes. But unless you really know why the vendor is going to say yes or no, then you are either going to have a higher chance of no's or if you get it right, you'll have a higher chance of them either saying yes or highly likely. All right. And now in terms of what the buyer wants, we need to figure out what problems do these buyers face? Perhaps even uh, what do they want to buy? What topics interest them? What topics don't interest them? And what are the demographics? What does this buyer look like? Maybe this buyer is a very specific demographic, very specific type of person. Is it a male? Is it a female? What do they like? What do they don't like? And all that. If you know that, then when it comes to creating a high value offer that you can place on the vendor's thank you page, it's going to be much, much easier. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we call Facebook's demographic analysis tool, which is called Facebook audience insights. Okay. So we're going to be using a tool called Facebook audience insights, and that is located at www.facebook.com slash ads slash audience dash insights. Now, if you ever forget that URL or you don't feel like entering that in, you can simply go to google.com and type in Facebook audience insights and you will get the URL up here. Now, obviously you will need to have a facebook.com account to log in and you will get in and you will see this. Now, the nice thing about Facebook audience insights is it is a tool that Facebook gives you access to for free. And this free tool allows you to get in the minds of your buyers and then actually see their likes, their dislikes, their demographics, is the majority male, is the majority female, uh, what age range they are, their household purchases or activities, their purchases, are they married, are they single and all that. Now, the reason why you want to know this information is it gives you a better perspective of the buyer. All right. So as we dive deeper into it, you'll see what I mean. Now, by default, it will choose your country. So in this case, I am pinpointing the United States, but if you are coming from a different country, typically it'll choose that for you. But of course you don't have to choose your country. You can choose a different country if you want to do that. So I can X out of this and choose, for example, Australia 
or Canada or United Kingdom. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now you can also choose the age and gender, but typically I leave this blank because I just am interested specifically on the interest. And based upon the interest, it'll tell you more data about that particular demographic. So let's say, for example, that we are going to focus on cholesterol. So let's just type in cholesterol here. And if we scroll back to the top, we can see demographics. Now, this is interesting. It says 79% of women are searching for information related to cholesterol. Now, that doesn't tell us anything right now. All we're doing is just gathering information. So 79%, we can see that the majority is in the bracket of 55 to 64. Now, 21% of men, we can see that it is starting at 35, but the majority is about 45 to 54 or 45 to 64. So these two right here. Now, the nice thing about Facebook Audience Insights is you can click, literally click on one of these and it'll, it'll hone in on that particular age group or gender. Now, as you can see, this is 79% women, 21% men, but if we look at it on Facebook alone, we can see that 54% of all on Facebook and 46 on Facebook. So it's about 50-50 equivalent majority, of course, are women that are at least searching for related items to cholesterol. Now, if we scroll down here, you can even see lifestyle. So the people that are searching for cholesterol, they're also searching for these types of other subject matters. We can see that much of them are married, much of them have college degrees, so they are educated in a certain sense, and they have job titles. Many of them are nurses, legal, education, management, social services. So that kind of paints a picture. So what you're trying to do is you're simply trying to paint a picture of who this could be. So page likes, what kind of pages do they like? So a lot of health and beauty, magazine, company, location, where are they located, top cities, top countries, top languages, the activities, how active are they? So we can see much of them, we can see they use desktop, but mo most of them are using mobile phones. And a lot of page likes, they're clicking ads, household income, we can see their purchase behavior and all of that. So what it, what this is simply doing is it's painting a picture of who that might look like. So in your mind, you might begin to think, okay, if that is this person, woman, older woman, begin to think about their lifestyle, begin to think about, you know, what is it that they are struggling with? What is it that is keeping them up at night? Is it health? Is it, in this case, it's cholesterol could be, it could be their cholesterol. It could be even their husband's cholesterol, you know? So really trying to think about what is in their minds. That's cholesterol. We can type in something else, say for example, weightlifting. So obviously Olympic weightlifting, we can see the majority of them are male. So especially between this one here. Now, if we click on here, what this does is it hones in specifically on this age group, male, and it allows you to see exactly what they like, what they don't like, their lifestyle, their relationship status. We can see a lot of singles, some married. They do have college, a lot of military, veterans. So you kind of kind of paint a picture here, right? So painting that picture allows you to see what they like, what they don't like, and how you can create your high value offer better and you're able to actually gear it towards that person. So now that you know how to kind of dive in and analyze the buyer, which then if you make the buyer happy, you will make the vendor happy. So it's a, it really comes down to basically a domino effect. 
So with that said, let's move on to the next video.